Now I think it's working, right? Yeah. So, I work at something called the Red Cross Bureau Against Discrimination up in Luleå, north of Sweden. And uh, I was thinking of sharing some thoughts with you. What's free? What's really free when it comes to belonging, identity, or expression? Can I actually change my expression freely? Can I change my identity? Can I even change my belonging without people starting to wonder? I've had a number of years thinking of these questions for different reasons. Another question you could ask yourself or somebody else, are you actually expressing your identity and or are you expressing your belonging? And is there a conflict there somewhere? And is that conflict causing a problem? Is the friction or non-friction? Non Maybe I should tell you what I mean by belonging. I'm not sure that is a common word in this context, but I found it somewhere. By belonging, I mean what we are actually born as, born into, or born with, or are considered born as, born into, born with. So it isn't just sex, genetics, anatomy, could just as well be ethnic, religious traditions that are so strong that we don't really often have a choice. or it could be norms of other kinds that we have to relate to. But identity, I, I of course, mean just how we perceive ourselves, which could be something different. And by expression, I mean how we express our way of being by attributes, behavior, could be, well, you know, clothes, hairstyles, tattoos, whatever. Uh, often we are expected to go along a straight line. We're expected to develop an identity that corresponds to the belonging that we're given, more or less. And we're also expect, expected to express ourselves in a straight line. And this you could apply to sex, gender, ethnicity, religion, belief, disability, sexual orientation, more or less, all of this you could apply as a principle on these uh, different characteristics. You can sort of, I guess you can imagine a few others characteristics too that you can apply these, this way of reasoning on. But um, is it really this, this easy? Maybe sometimes, now I lost this one, did I? No? Uh, maybe it isn't that easy all the time. Maybe sometimes the identity is slightly different from what you're expected to have, or the expression differs from what other people think you should have. But it may match your identity, or it may not match your identity, because maybe you're not, you don't have the guts to show your real identity with your expression, because you're afraid of what, what might happen. So there might be a twisted relationship that maybe only you know of. Or maybe you say something to others, or not. So maybe your belonging points in a certain direction, but your identity actually is somewhere else. And that one points in a certain direction, but you're not able to express it the way you want, so you have another expression. So now you see. The final questions would then maybe be, can you express yourself freely regardless of identity and belonging? Can you identify yourself freely, regardless of expression and belonging? And if not, who or what is the obstacle? Is it other people? Is it maybe even the state who has given you a belonging? A legal sex or a legal something else? That you have to change to be able to live the world you want, the way you want you to live your life? Um, so what it boils down to, and we've already heard thoughts about this, do we have a freedom of expression in the meaning, not just freedom of speech, freedom of oral and written expression, but freedom of expressing ourselves any way we want? That's one thing to 
meditate over. Freedom of identity. Can we change our identity without getting pursued, or persecuted, or in other ways stopped in our lives? So I would like us all to to um, take a minute or two and think of these questions and think of: Am I able to do this? Am I allowing others to do this? Am I even encouraging others to do this? to freely express their identity and or belonging, whatever they would like to do. Thank you. <laughs>